All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. And we're here with Caesar. And everybody knows Doc Positive is a sucker for the black cats. We like the black cats. I got two black cats of my own named Lock and Load. And we got Alyssa here. And Alyssa, she's a great cat person. She worked at Awesome and he was a foster kitty that became a permanent adoption. That happens. We're only too familiar with that. But he's here today because he's got an eye issue. And I want to see here if I can show you. If you see, this is his good eye, which was his bad eye before. Let's see. And then his right eye. I want to see if I can't hold his eye still here for a sec. But we put a little dye in there, a little dye called fluorescein. And you can see where that fluorescein stain has uptaken on his cornea. He had the same problem in his other eye previously. Alyssa has some really great pictures of that issue. And surprisingly enough, he did have a perforated cornea. Uh, perforated cornea is just like it sounds. He got an infection in his eye. It actually got so severe that it perforated the cornea. Some of the contents of the inner eye come out. And she treated that very aggressively, long term. And you would never even know it to look. He doesn't have any scar tissue in that eye, but now he's got the problem in his other eye. So at this point, we're going to change the antibiotics because uh, we're suspecting he may have built up a little bit of resistance to that particular antibiotic. So we have a smorgasbord of antibiotic eye drops here. We're going to put him on some systemic antibiotics. And I'm going to show you here because fluorescein is a dye that we use to uh, ascertain the severity of the problem. So I'm going to have Lisa, I'm not sure how this will turn out with the lights out, but we're going to see here because we use a black light. And the black light uh, lights up that fluorescein. So you can see we stained both eyes, but you can see his good eye. That's just a reflection there. But over in this eye, where all the green not in the corner of his eye, but on his cornea itself is that perforated cornea. So that fluorescein dye uh, is taken up by the scratch or the perforated cornea. So let's go ahead and turn the lights back on there, Lisa. So we are going to switch antibiotics, put him on some systemic antibiotics, Treat this very aggressively. He did recover miraculously, not miraculously, but he, he recovered very, very well in the other eye. The problem with Caesar most likely is that he's probably infected with a feline herpes virus. And uh, like the saying is, herpes is forever. Uh, there is no way of clearing the herpes virus from the body whether it's a human body or from a cat's body. And that herpes virus can lay dormant in the body and during periods of stress, it may cause an outbreak. And kitty cats are prone to the herpes virus around the eyes. Uh, just like a lot of people running around with herpes virus, not any sores, no problem. And then during final exams at colleges, you see people, they break out with a herpes sore. And so with this kitty cat, during uh, a period of stress and you say well what is stress for a cat that's a good question because different cats respond to situations differently but we are going to put them on some antibiotics we checked them out with our woods lamp otherwise known as a black light back in the 60s when doc was a kid we won't go into that and uh, we'll have him come back in a couple of weeks and reevaluate how that eye has healed Thanks, Alyssa. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Bye now.